Hi, I'm Rob Holmes. Today is the first time since the recession that I've done the three S's, shit, shower, shave, uh, prior to doing this video. Uh, it's the second time during the recession that I've actually shaved, and yes, I use Old Spice. I know I don't look as uh, sexy as the Old Spice guy, but I'm pretty darn close. Come on, admit it. All right, let's get to reading here. An Italian proverb, 231. There's no thief like a bad book. 232. Callimachus, 260 BC. I don't know who Callimachus is, but there's an H in there, which means it's probably not Latin. A big book is a big bore. He didn't even know Tolstoy. That's kind of unfair. That's kind of unfair. He got a thousand years or more until he could actually read War and Peace. Son of a gun. 233. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Never read a book that is not a year old. I guess you should just wait for the reviews. 234. Mark Twain. The man who doesn't read good books has no advantage over a man who can't read them. Now that's deep. Put in the work, baby. 235, Augustine Birrell. Any ordinary man can surround himself with 2,000 books, and thenceforward have at least one place in the world in which it is possible to be happy. 236, George Louis Borges. I have always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library. With me growing up, it was more like a video store, but hey, they don't exist anymore, so there you are. 237. Studying literature at Harvard is like learning about women at the Mayo Clinic. <laughs> Roy Blount Jr., I don't disagree. 238. I wonder how so insupportable a thing is, a thing as a bookseller, was ever permitted to grow up in the Commonwealth. Many of our modern booksellers are but needless excrements or rather vermin. George Wither, 1588 to 1667. Is he talking about Jeff Bezos? He is the biggest bookseller in the world. Let's not tell Jeff. 239, Teresa Skelton. It takes the publishing industry so long to produce books, it's no wonder so many are posthumous. <laughs> 240, unknown. In every fat book, there's a thin book trying to get out. Be succinct. Be succinct when you're writing. Write the thin book. 241. This is a New Yorker cartoon. Picture one shepherd talking to another. No, I haven't read the New Testament, but I read the Old Testament and I liked it very, very much. 242. Cicero. What an ugly beast is the ape, and how like us. Those are all the readings today. My Starbucks mug of the day is Chicago. And for those who grew up in the 80s, Chicago is basically Peter Cetera and the other guys. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. I love you all. And I hope you're having a nice one. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.